Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. It's Jamala and thank you for having me. So this video is definitely going to be about one of the products that I showed you in my last video a couple days ago. I had a haul video and I'll put the link right here for you guys if you want to go back and see what I've actually shown in that video because I will be doing a lot of reviews on the products that I actually showed you guys. I really didn't talk about the products a lot in that video and that's why I decided to do actual reviews about it. So the first review I'm going to do is on the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation and it looks like this in a little tube stick, look like a lipstick. I do think the packaging is cute. The tube looks really small for the price. I believe I paid $10 for this foundation at Walmart and as you could see it looks just like a lipstick but it the product is really really small even if there were more product into the tube I wouldn't be able to get that to do my foundation so um, I really don't like how the packaging is set up the only dislike I could say about this packaging is that it doesn't have a lot of information on the packaging itself it doesn't let you know if it has SPF 20 or SPF 30 in it and by me looking at this it looked like it doesn't have any at all but that is okay because it's good for photographs and that's a plus with me. Before I start the review, I'm just going to talk about this foundation just a little bit to give you a sight of what the product is all about. The first thing I notice about this foundation is that it's very light and you do not need powder to set your foundation. It also set as a matte finish and it looks really natural. And the best part about this product is that it's very blendable. So if you added foundation on your face and you're wondering if you could add more so it doesn't look kinky or whatsoever, you can go ahead and do that and put as much coverage as you need. Okay guys, so I have a bare face. I only have my moisturizer on um, and I'm actually getting ready to get ready and leave in a few. So I'm going to start to apply this foundation. I'm just going to put some stuff on my face here and here it kind of feel kind of um I don't know oily but as I like use my fingers um, it feels very silky like a silk I don't know it just feels like there's nothing there at all it feels really silky that's weird <laughs> I don't see any kind of um, so far I don't see any kind of like progress right now my face still feel like it doesn't have any foundation on period so I'm just gonna put it on with my fingers not too much if I feel like I don't feel like I would need a brush for this foundation at all. It's just so easy. It blends in really, really nicely though. Um, this is like one of the best foundations that I have that are so easy to blend in. Like really, really easy to blend in. Like I really don't see it, period. I'm going to try to put a little bit more on my face. Um, this is the first I don't know if you guys could see it, um, but I really can't tell. I'm just gonna go and put some more on my cheeks where I have most of my blemishes and see like, if I could cover that. And then my mustache area, my forehead, under my eye. Very nice. That under my eyes. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to blind you guys with this mirror. I'm just gonna take my hand and blend it all out. I, when I look at the lens, it looks very, very nice. When I look here, 
on my mirror because my mirror is like really close up I could still see a little bit of um, in, like really blemishes that I have here imperfections you call them and right here but this with this is without my setting powder without my full face makeup that I usually do so I'm gonna go ahead and just put conceal a little, a little bit more not putting this foundation all over my face for the third coat but just concealing a little bit more than using it foundation on this is how the um, foundation came out on my skin as you guys can see I don't want to be too close I'm sorry my hat is a mess but I'm bad here today I'm just coming from work guys and I don't know so this is how it it looks right so so far so I'm gonna go ahead since I put two and a half coats over my face I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the Revlon Nearly Naked Setting Powder and I use this powder all the time. I just had one of these in my um, haul also and this is just like a repurchase. I really love this. So I'm gonna use my Sonia Kashuk brush and this is what it looks like. I always use this brush and I'm just gonna set it. I really feel like this foundation does not need setting powder. I'm just setting it because that's something that I usually do when I do my makeup and it's, I just can't get rid of that stuff. It's already set I feel but um, it, is already, it just feels really smoother than anything. Here. I hope you like this foundation so far guys because I do so what I'm gonna do now is do a full face makeup and then I'll come back and you'll see how it looks full face with my full face makeup <laughs> okay guys so this is like a full face makeup that I would wear like at a doctor's appointment or something like that I have light pink lips nothing really on my eyes but a brown smoky eye really light with a really thick um, liner, wing liner. Um, so I really don't have anything on my face but the Fit Me foundation and the setting powder. And just to make it come all together, just uh, you know, just a little color here and there, just to make my face look a little bit more alive. I'm really loving this foundation. It does not feel like anything on my face, honestly. Um, it just feels like my skin it's so funny but um, I re it's, it feels kind of weird because it feels like actually nothing on my skin and yeah so guys if you want to check this out and get this foundation I recommend it go for it and it's just like a little foundation that you can put in your bag when you're going out for packing and stuff like that I do um, think this is like a great summer foundation or it could be a really nice fall foundation as well um, just a foundation that you just don't want to be like all glammed up you could wear this and it won't make you look like like you have on makeup it just makes you look very natural but very put together and I really really like that about this foundation so I'm gonna stick with this foundation I hope you guys loved and enjoy this review and I hope it was helpful for you to make your decision if you were thinking about getting this foundation yourself I hope this video helped you to make your decision and I will see you guys in the next video love you